Daisy, look. Some of the frogs are in the water and some are on the land. Isn't it strange? How can they live on both land and water? Oh, Nicky, don't you know that the frogs are amphibians? What is the meaning of amphibians? Can you elaborate? Animals which live both on land and water are called amphibians. Amphibians usually start their life in water with gills, and then most of them grow lungs to breathe air when they become adults. There are many amphibians found on Earth like frogs, toads, salamanders, newts, cassilians, etc. First, I will explain the adaptations in frogs. Frogs are small animals that are amazing jumpers. Baby frogs are known as tadpoles. They grow in water and have gills for breathing. Adult frogs have lungs to breathe on land. They can breathe through their skin also when they are in water. This means they can take in oxygen from the water. Their skin needs to stay wet, so they often hang out in moist places. They can live in ponds, lakes and marshes. But you won't find them in the ocean because they can't live in salt water. Check out a frog's hind feet and you will notice that they have webbed feet. This is the thin layer of the skin found between the toes of the frogs. The webbing is present mostly in hind limbs and not on forelimbs. This webbing increases the surface area of the foot, which allow the frog to push against more water and swim more efficiently. Frogs have bulging eyes that sit on top of their heads. This cool feature allow them to see all around even a bit behind them without moving their heads. Frogs come in many colours. Some are green or brown. They adapt a technique of camouflage. Means they blend in with their surroundings like leaves, trees and ponds, so it's difficult for predators to spot them. These adaptations make frogs amazing survivors in the nature. Do you know, Nikki? Salamanders are also fascinating creatures with remarkable adaptations. Salamanders have skin that is not only smooth, but also moist. This skin is super important because it helps them to breathe. Yes, they can actually take in oxygen through their skin, which is perfect for when they are in water. Salamander can be found in many cool places, like in ponds, streams, caves, on land hiding under leaves or in logs. They have amazing regeneration power. If a salamander loses a part of its body, like its tail, it can grow it back. Salamanders can use their tails in awesome ways. They can whip them around to defend themselves. Or even break them off to escape from predators. Don't worry, they will just grow a new one. Some salamanders have gills which let them breathe in the water. Salamanders which are on land can breathe with lungs or through their skin. Many salamanders have bright colours. These colours can warn predators that they might be poisonous. When it gets really cold, some salamander adopt the technique of hibernation. They take a long nap underground or in deep caves. This helps them stay safe from the freezing weather. Salamanders have sticky tongue. They shoot it out super fast to catch their food, like bugs and worms. You will be surprised to know that cassilians are also amphibians. 
Caecilians look a lot like worms or snakes because they don't have any legs. Their eyes are really tiny, which is often covered by skin to protect them while they burrow through the earth. Their skin is smooth, which helps them move around in the soil and keeps them from drying out. Most Cassilians have lungs, but they can also breathe through their skin or mouth, which is really helpful when they are underground. So amphibians are definitely amazing creatures with lots of special features, which you must have understood now. Thank you.